Hello everybody, I am Lizix, and today we're going to be doing a updated tutorial on how to create Rock Band 2 customs for our PCS3. This actually is now important than the first time I created this, because now online works. Uh, if you set up your online just like this, and I'll have more information on how to get online set up uh, later, once I'm actually in-game. First of all, how to convert Clone Hero customs. This this actually has to happen for all customs, but I'm just gonna do um, just a regular clone hero custom. Let's just do the top of the list, 87. So what you're gonna need for converting to Rock Band 2 will be in the description. First of all, you're gonna need Onyx. Uh, open up the batch batch process here. Uh, drag in your songs, or in this case, song. This can do multiple at the same time. Uh, all that's fine. Click Rock Band 2. Keep this the same. I don't think it actually matters. If your song has keys and you want to use play keys, you can do keys on guitar or bass. That's fine. I choose 1x bass pedal because I don't have 2x bass pedal. That's just how it is. Uh, and then you can browse for where you want it to be. I'm just gonna set it to be the desktop where the rb2con will be created. I create the con file. It takes a second to export, so... Alright, now that that's done, we should have our rb2con here. And now, we will open up c3con tools here. And what we need in C3Con Tools is the PS3 converter. Open the PS3 folder in C3Con Tools and drag your con file into cons. That's an old con file. Uh, I, I will refresh the folder. And there should be... I don't know if all of these folders will show up already. If you do not already have a folder called Merged Songs, create it and create a new text document called songs and then delete the txt and rename it to dta. This is for the first time you create customs. Every other time you can just, you drag in the dta that you already have. Accept the change to dta, refresh, and you begin. Now it's done. In Merge Songs, you have your song. As you can see in Songs DTA, it is 87 by Polyphia, the song that we decided to use. Now, the next step is to open up True Ancestor EDAT Rebuilder. And here's something that I forgot to mention in the previous one. In C3Con, in bin wraps, Take the NTSC and PAL wraps and drag them into the EDAT Rebuilder wraps folder. Also important, is to go into Tool, Dev, K Licenses, in True Ancestor EDAT Rebuilder. Scroll all the way down. Copy this first, the license key. And then copy this, put a space after that jumble of numbers and letters, enter, and if you're, you generated a PAL uh, um, license, copy these two as well. I don't think there's any difference. No, there is, because it says EP for PAL. And now that's done. Save and close that. Next thing to do, to go into EDAT in True Ancestor EDAT Rebuilder. In your merged songs, you should have these files, or in your song folder, you should have these files. Drag this, the entire folder of your song, into EDAT. Open up the Rebuilder. Choose Decrypt EDAT. Select Type A for all, or one for whichever one you want to decrypt. 
that decrypts the EDAT, continue, or just close out of the um, close out of the window there. Now you can see there is a DAT file here. Delete the EDAT file and rename the DAT file, the dot .dat file, to dot .edat. Accept the changes, and now we go into the gen folder of the song. And in, and in downloads here, I have a file called empty rb2 wait stop bin. Drag that in, delete the empty dash rb2, and replace it with the folder name. So we rename rb2 waits. That's done. Now you take that folder, send it back to merged songs. Now, I'm guessing you've already updated your Rock Band 2. If not, uh, update the Rock Band 2. This is, how, this is how your Rock Band, or how your RPCS3 will look before. Uh, go to View, Game Categories, Check Game Data. Right-click on your Rock Band 2 PS3 Game Data. Open Install Folder. User dir, and then create. I think it can use any um, folder name, so I'm just gonna use a folder name uh, test five 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 one two three four five six seven one two three four five test five five five. And in test five five five, you create a new folder. Call it songs. I don't think it has to be capitalized. Let me just check real quick. Does not have to be capitalized. Then you drag everything in merged songs over to songs. And now, just to show you that this custom now works, I will move my customs folder, which I've named Harmonix 0756, same as um, PS3 would be. And I will start up Rock Band 2. So, we're in game here. I'm not even gonna turn on hyperspeed. I'm just gonna go into quick play. I've got some DLC in here, so it takes a second for it to load all that. And there's our custom right there, 87. Expert, okay. There's another thing you can do in Onyx uh, in other tools with the with the con file. You can create black background if you'd like. I did not. It's optional. If I switch... Which scene is it? I have a... What? Where'd my RB2? Oh, there it is. Found it. So anyway, it works. I have cutouts. They'll be in the description as well. Now, how do you get online working? See, I load into online. I can search for players. Nobody's playing, of course. Um, how do you get online working? Well, it's actually really easy. First things first, in you... T no, where is it? In configuration under RPCN. You... this is fine. You create a username. The username has to be the same as a username on PSN that has already played Rock Band 2. So uh, you're gonna have to look that up yourself for people who have already played Rock Band 2. Or if you've played Rock Band 2 online before, it works just fine. This account putting plays has. That's my old username. It still works. Um, probably shouldn't be showing that token. Whatever. Um, and then in Rock Band 2, 
change custom configuration in network. Make sure PSN status is set to RPCN. Network is connected. DNS doesn't matter. And IP host switches. This uh, will be in the description. You need to change it to this. Apply and save. Start up Rock Band and, and it'll work. Customs also work. I've never, I haven't tried it myself, but other people who have tried it have confirmed to me that they do work. I'm just going to drag in my folder of customs now. Uh, I also have my folder of customs uh, linked in the description if you would like to play with me, because um, even if you have the same songs, it probably won't work because IDs are randomly assigned through C3Con. C3Con creates random IDs for songs, so even if you have the same song, same name, same artist, it's not going to work because the song ID is completely different. Anyway, I think that's all. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy those customs. Peace.